If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how to prepare for the Blitz promo. Now, the Blitz promo does start the night of the 26th of November, so that is approximately six days and a little bit longer than about just right about now. So... I'm going over how to prepare because a lot of people probably have either A, experienced a Blitz promo and know that it changes every year to a certain extent, or B, have never experienced a Blitz promo and are very confused at the moment in time. So first start with a good morning pack. Let's open that up, see if we can pull anything out of these. I should have a few of these actually sitting in my binder once I go ahead and pull out, complete it. But let's go check this out. There could be a few, unless I don't build up, not entirely sure, but okay. Anyways, first off, shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, Hurlbert. Shout out to you man for being part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly appreciate you. The liking, commenting, and doing everything you do each and every video. Now, if you guys want a chance to chat, be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do is like today's video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. But guys, that's about it for that. And yes, I'm finally back on my account on my Madden. I've been, since my whole computer broke down, I've been having to use online stuff. It's been very, very frustrating using PC Madden and everything. But I'm back, and you all got a new computer, finally, if everything, just to keep me going for now. But, moving on. Before we get into this video, guys... I do want to let you guys know if you need anything for Autumn, Autumn Blast Part 2 did come out today. If you guys need anything for that, go ahead down below. Use code Poodle at my reserve for 15% off. Take advantage. See if you guys need to pick anything up, any of these LTDs, any of the new cards, Nitro Lane, so on and so forth. But first off, guys, let me go over the Blitz. So when you go into the Blitz promo, it's going to be in the store, right? There's going to be Blitz offers and then another separate tab for more Blitz offers. Now, Blitz offers typically are usually only money. Now, last year, or two years ago, let's go back to Madden 19. The way this worked was simple. In Madden 19, Blitz offers were money. And then that was it. And then for Christmas, we had another Blitz offer. Blitz offers on Christmas were money and snowflakes. And we had another one around the Super Bowl. It was uh, money and Super Bowl rings. So it was currency and money, which is cool because if it is currency, guys, there is great investment opportunities where you can get a lot of currency now for like a decent price. And then when it comes time to actually go ahead and go to the Blitz, you make so much money, right? So if you remember, probably around Christmas of Madden 19, I remember this specifically in my situation, the Blitz promo came. And I bought myself, there was like these uh, Ghost of uh, Ghost of Future, like Sam Darnold, and a few, and T, uh, Sam Darnold, uh, the tight end that's on the, oh, damn, the Falcons, I can't remember his name right now, he came from the Ravens. But anyways, all those guys, the future cards, were all like 180k, 200k. And they went for, let's say, 3,000 snowflakes. So, I suspected that we could have gotten some currency usage for a potential blitz or something, so I bought a few of them just to invest, because they were below the training value too. Um, I bought a few of them just to invest. I bought like six of them. A few nights later, a Blitz promo drops, and there's like a fire fan. I forgot what it was. There was like some really good packs, and it cost training. And there was power pass cost, uh, cost snowflakes, sorry. So that snowflake skyrocketed. Those Sam Darnos that I bought for 180 all went up to around 300 something, like 320. So I sold all of them, made like 600K off all of them total, because it was like 100K each time off the six plus reduction. I made like close 600K. Then, they, after that after that went down, those players skyrocketed. I mean, crashed back down to like 180 so again i was like okay so I'm gonna, i bought them all again another one came out i ended up making like one to three million coins off that then another thing happened like that where i bought a bunch of ed reeds so then i got a bunch of ed reeds for like 400 like 350 400k and then after the promo drop they all shut up to the training value and they only went on for 500k so i made like 200 to 150k off each and had like 10 to 15 or something like that i, I remember i made close to like eight to a million coins now to do that you would have to have a currency involved with this promo. Now, I do not know if they'll go that route. So I just want to let you guys know. Keep in mind, I wouldn't go ahead and just buy a bunch of currency. Because remember, you can do it in promo, right? Like, if you find out, like, the first night, okay, I missed it. There was currency. Once things drop, then you can play the market. But I wouldn't necessarily go and invest into the first one. Because if you do do that and you don't get any, everyone's going to be disappointed. And they're going to drop in value again. So, you might actually end up losing coins. So, I'd probably play it as day by day goes. So, you know, the Blitz does last a few days. So, you do have a few chances to get it right. But definitely, be like, if you have some cards, like, let's say you have Night Train Lane. You have Tony Romo with a few cards in your team. Worst case scenario, guys, they drop a good blitz offer. Just go into your binder, quick sell them, and use it. You when things come back down, you like right. So let's say Nitro Lane goes for let's just say 300k, right? You can buy it for 300k. But at that moment when the blitz offer comes out, all all leaves go for double the price. So Nitro Lane's going for like 500k. Just quick sell them, use them, and then when Nitro Lane goes back down to normal 300k value, you buy them back again. Essentially, you got leaves for the right price, but it didn't cost you extra money, right? So. Definitely go ahead and take a look into doing that. Now, moving on from that, guys, just if you guys do want to have currency ready, you can. But like I said, best bet is just to have some in your binder. 
that you're actually using and if you need to it's kind of like an emergency fund like it'll break the glass if you know an emergency kind of a thing so that's good now in terms of money guys it will cost some it will cost currency the blitz promo does cost currency now my first recommendation for the blitz promo do not go for the master do not go for whatever the blitz master is you can buy it at a later date now if you guys don't know the blitz master is going to be super super expensive usually uh last year it was not i don't know why it was very weird so right now let's say like you know 230 is what rome was going for and we got steve mcnair 300 the blitz master will probably be somewhere in the area should be at least at least like the first day or so should be in the area of like a million coins at least now after like a week or so when things even out probably 600k but that blitz lamar last year went for super cheap i don't know why but typically typically the blitz master does cost anywhere from like three to four hundred dollars to get done because again so you have to collect blitz uh like blitz uh, keys blitz cards off of doing blitz stuff so like let's say you spend 10 let's say you spend every ten dollars you spend on packs with on and the blitz offers you get back two keys right and you need a hundred keys that means you have to buy 50 times that's so, right so that could be like you know point point being if ten dollars is two keys that means every hundred dollars is going to be um 20 keys and then so it's at 100 keys you need to spend like 500 dollars. you get what i'm saying there so that's kind of like how that usually works so when it, when it ends up to a, a monetary value like that like a currency that's when things end up getting super super expensive so I'm saying you guys know to knock off the Blitz Master with money. Yes, if there's a good Blitz offer, go ahead and do it. Like that's my best advice. Like if you see a Fire Fans pack for 20 bucks and you you want a Fire Fans pack, 20 bucks, buy it, right? But if you if you end up buying three Fire Fans packs, 60 bucks, and you're like, oh, I have I have you know I have 20 keys, I only need 80 more. Yeah, well that's gonna be an additional two three hundred dollars. Don't go for it. I'm telling you guys, use your coins. Coins are less valuable than your real life money. Yes, coins do have monetary value on coin sponsors and selling. But at the end of the day, guys, I really recommend you guys go ahead. And do not go for that master. Take what you want, right? So let's say that they did drop a Lamar Jackson, buy him. They drop a master, uh, Chris Johnson, buy him. When the, the price is right, and in your wallet, it'll still feel happy knowing that you didn't spend $400 on him. Now, you can take those blitz tokens, eventually, and those blitz keys, remember, they don't go to waste. Usually, they give them like a quick sell value. So I remember one year, I spent like 100 bucks on the blitz, which I wasn't happy about, but I spent like 100 bucks. I ended up with like 20 or 30 blitz CDs, whatever it was. So I was stuck with them. And then at the end, they ended up all quick selling for like 10K or something like that. Or Maybe I had like 15, they all sold for like 15K. So I ended up making a few, like 100, 200K off that. And I was super excited about that. So there is a value for them after the promo. So if you have them, don't just think you're stuck with them. Definitely just wait it out. But yeah, I mean, that pretty much wraps up that aspect of it. So like in terms of they could be, they could use in-game currency. Now, last year they did not. So last year they did not use any in-game currency. Now that was primarily because of the fact that there was no currency. Last year during the Thanksgiving promo, all we had was Blitz Bolts. This year we have Fallen Leaves and Blitz Bolts. So I really do hope they incorporate that into this. Now again, guys, all of this here will all go weird, right? So if, we, if they end up using Fallen Leaves, guys, for the Blitz promo, things are going to get weird. I'm telling you guys. It's like, you saw Romo's 230. Romo's 230. If they drop a, a Fire Fantasy pack for like, you know, 5,000 Fallen Leaves, Romo will go up to 400K. I kid you not, he will skyrocket up. And that is where you make your money. Now, let's say you don't want the Fire Fantasy pack. You don't think it's worth it? Just go sell your players. That's what I did. That's what last year I made 10 million coins out. But that's probably why they don't do it anymore because you could make so much coins. Just imagine, right? Let's say you have four Romos and you have four Nitrine lanes and you have a bunch of lower players and you're saving them. Like, you know, like the 20K, 80 overall, 81 overall Autumn Bass players? Those players are selling for like 60K. Like, just imagine the magnitude if you have like 10 of those. Like, that's 400K off the rip. People made way more. I, I think I made like, I made around 10 to 12, but people made like 15, 20. I know CC made a ton. I remember when I used to, I used to watch him back then as well. He made a ton of coins. Like, Christmas promo is when everyone just got rich. Like, any YouTuber that had a lot of coins saved up already. It was an unreal time. Now, again, I don't know if they'll allow that because if you don't know if EA's done that very slick little things these last year or so, that really limits us. Like when a promo starts, be like, oh, you get those players back, but only two that to make sure that we can't sell, you know, quick sell and reroll. Like they've been doing little things here and there that make sure you can't do certain things. Like oh, free player, but it's not, or this, but you can't do that. They've been doing a few things to make sure you really limit those opportunities. But guys, I pretty much wraps up my how to repair. I think I pretty much covered it. So again, if you have stuff in your binder, you can hold on to it. Um, I don't recommend you go ahead and go go all out and get currency now, although it could, but you don't want to take that chance because if other people have the same mindset as you, uh, the prices will go up and they will inevitably go back down. Get the credit cards ready, of course. That's always going to be a thing with Blitz. Um, be ready to stay up at weird times, guys. So la typically, if it starts, I think that first offer is going to be 8 p.m. So it's usually like 8 p.m., 12 uh, a.m. Then it could be like 4 a.m., 8 a.m., 12 p.m., 4 p.m., 8 p.m., 12 a.m., 4 a.m., 8 a.m., 12 p.m. So pretty much every four hours. So you end up getting like six offers within a 24-hour period. Now, that's usually like one banger one. Typically, this works just like one or two banger times. So like, I don't remember last year if it was 8 p.m. or 12 p.m. I'm uh, sorry, 8, 8 p.m. or 12 a.m. 
one of those were the best offers. So like one of those would be like the Fire Fantasy Pack or like Platinum Player Quick Sells. That was that, and then other times they're just like dumb stuff. Like and you would know it's coming. So last year they actually gave us a schedule to see what was coming, which is actually a lot better because again it got rid of the surprise factor, which kind of sucked in terms of like content creation and making videos on it. But in terms of a person, you know, like it used to suck. Like okay, so you're going out to like a concert tonight, which obviously is not applicable anymore. But like you went out to a concert or you're going out with your friends tonight, you have a hangout or something, you're in a restaurant, you're like, you don't know, like, what's coming out at 8 p.m., I won't be back by then, and it was a Fire Fantasy pack, and that's the best one, you missed it. But now it will tell you, like, okay, 8 p.m. tonight's, uh, you know, Dante Jackson, 12 p.m. is Kyler Murray, those are just players, you can get those whenever, but the Fire Fantasy pack's going to be 4 a.m., okay, I'll be home at that time, so cool, I'll, I can plan around that, or Black Friday shopping. So I do like this format, but guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, come join the family. If you guys want to shout out the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad and turn the noti bell. Hey guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.